Is that a freaking bear? <laughs> oh my god! Reaction Part 1 Hi guys, how are you? How do you miss for the this video? Um, I saw the stroll of the pole. I'm gonna make the reaction of Back to the Future Part 3. Yeah, I've never seen this movie before. I swear to God. So this is gonna be my first time. I'm so excited. I hope I enjoy it. I know you told me that that's your favorite. So I'm kind of intrigued. I don't have any more to say. Literally, I know Marty is going to the Western, I don't know, age <laughs> to, to look for a dog, but, but that's the only thing I know. If you want to check the full reaction of this video, that is my Patreon right here. So don't forget to check that out and <laughs> let's find the reaction. A universal picture. Okay, this is cute. Are they celebrating something? Because they're showing a lot of interest. <laughs> universal pictures presents. I already say that. Okay, 75th anniversary. Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay. Please, Universal, don't like this video. Steven Spielberg presents. Robert Zemeckis film. Saturday, November 12, 1955. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I wake up. Five minutes later. Why are you gonna see Marty again? Right now, literally. And he's gonna faint, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Back to the future! Part 3! Are they gonna show us how it's gonna travel to, to, to the past? Oh! <laughs> okay, Marty, you're strong! You're caring, Doc. <laughs> and you fell asleep too. <laughs> okay. Isn't it normal for someone to, to, to faint for that long? Because he's not sleeping. He fainted. Don't you remember? I can't recall what happened. In fact, I don't even remember how I got home. I saw a vision of Marty say he had come back from the future. Hey, Doc. Reality, this was some sort of image. Ouch! You fainted. I brought you home. This can't be happening. You can't be here. It doesn't make sense for you to be here. I refuse to believe that you are here. I like him. He's so funny. Okay, I think you can see the computer. <laughs> it's a huge computer, so I'm just gonna. I'm just trying to get comfortable here. <laughs> Look, I came back to 1955 again with you, the you from 1985. What? 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 It's a very interesting story, future boy. But there's just one little thing that doesn't make sense. If the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? You sent me a letter. <laughs> I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. Unfortunately, the car will never fly again. It actually flew. Yeah, we had a hover conversion done in the early 21st century. Incredible. <laughs> 1885. That's his Amazing. favorite time, right? I actually right? end up as a blacksmith in the old west. That's right, old west. <laughs> what did I just say at the beginning? Western age. <laughs> Sorry. I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned Delgado mine adjacent to the old Boot Hill Cemetery as shown on the enclosed map. Okay. Oh, once you have returned to 1985, destroy the time machine. Destroy it? Yeah, well, it's a long story, Doc. Okay, so Doc, from the future, doesn't want Marty to go rescue him. He wants to stay in 19... No, in 1885. He, he just wants Marty to go back to his future, that is his present, so he doesn't get stuck in the past. 
What? 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 Wow, well, trying to say that to someone who doesn't know about these movies. <laughs> I don't even know if you understood what I just said, but, but uh, anyway. I repeat, do not attempt to come back here to get me. Oh. And please take care of Einstein for me. You've been a good, kind, and loyal friend to me, and you've made a real difference in my life. Wait a second. I remember in the first movie that he said that he's this this person of Doc said that he didn't want to know anything about the future because he could act it, in. and now he knows too much about the future. So would that change something <laughs> like the future? Because we know some actions really affect and create an alternative reality. We saw that with Beef in 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 second movie. So, um, okay. I never knew I could ride anything so touch. No, no, <laughs> According to this, the time vehicle sealed off in a side time. We may have to blast. Oh. Okay. I think you woke up the dead with that blast. Take this <laughs> camera. I'm gonna document everything. No, 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 I don't know. I don't remember Jennifer stuck in the alternative future. Oh, shit. My initials. Just like in Journey to the Center of the Earth. <laughs> that means the time machine must be right through this wall. In fact. You're right. It's been buried here for 70 years, two months, and 13 days. Since I end up in 1885, perhaps I'm now in the history books. Hmm. I wonder. You're the one that's always saying, you know, it's not good to know too much about your own destiny. Exactly. Right, Marty. I know too much already. Exactly. Better that I not attempt to uncover the circumstances of my own future. Fergus, come on, let's go home, boy. Uh, hmm. What's wrong? Something's happening. What's... Emmett Brown. Let's go. Come on. Die? What? Great Scott died September 7th, 1885. That's one week after oh. the letter by his beloved Clara. Who the hell oh. is Clara? Barney, please don't stand there. Oh, right. <laughs> Shot in the back by Buford Tannen. Was a notorious gunman whose short temper and a tendency to drool earned him the nickname Mad Dog. Your relatives? My great grandfather's name was William. Hmm? That's him. Good looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> It flies, but no Browns. Browns didn't come to Hill Valley until 1908, and then they were the Von Browns. Okay, how do you know so much about your family? I don't even know the name of my grandparents. No, my great grandparents. <laughs> Seriously, I don't have an idea where I'm come from. Apparently, all of them are from here, from Colombia. So I don't know. <laughs> I barely knew my grandparents. It's me. That it is true. All of it. And I'm going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. Okay. Of course. Have you ever seen a Western? No. Yeah, I have, Doc. <laughs> Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. <laughs> Even though I have been watched one, sir, I know who Clint Eastwood is. And yeah, he wouldn't have worn something like that. Time circuit's on. I wrote the letter on September 1st, so we'll send you back the very next day, September 2nd. That's a Wednesday, September 2nd, 1885, 8 a.m. Good luck for both of our sakes. See you in the future. You mean the past? Exactly. Yeah. Why are you using a gun? Why is he speaking in Spanish? Hostia! <laughs> oh, be careful, they could destroy the car. Are they trying to attack you? Oh! You have to change your shoes. You should hide again. Are they haunting the Indians? Oh wait, 
I definitely don't know anything about the old west because that's American history and you know I'm from Colombia. <laughs> I barely know about Colombian history. Wait, there is something so curious about his shirt. Pay attention. Look, it looks like a freaking atom. You know? <laughs> yes, like Jimmy Neutron, you know? Aw. Details. Oh, did that damage something in the car? <gasps> ah, the gasoline, you. Ah, damn, I knew it. Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Mm. Is that a freaking bear? How are you gonna try back to the future? Mm. Oh my god! That is a small bear. Oh no, the boots. Oh man, no! Ow, 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 dude. Fatality. Are you okay? <laughs> you know what happens to him, you know? He hits his head and he ends up waking up with his mother. Mom, is that you? They are there <laughs> now. I had this horrible nightmare. <laughs> the same dialogue. Well, down. pretty similar. Well, you're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. McFly farm? <laughs> Your name's McFly. Maggie McFly. McFly? And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... Eastwood? <laughs> Clint Eastwood? Uh, Clint... Clint Eastwood? That's William? Aye. William Sean McFly, the first of our family to be born in America. Maggie! Oh, I've got that supper. is Michael J. Fox. I didn't recognize him at first. He's an amazing actor. He can play different characters in the same freaking shot and you can see the differences. I just love how they played the daughter in the last film. Oh, it was so good. Would you like some water? Uh, yeah. That's not water. This is water. I hope you find your blacksmith friend. <laughs> Oh my god. He's such a strange young man. Aye, but I've just got a feeling about him, Maggie. That looking after him's the right thing to do. Little Will never takes to strangers. It's almost as if he's connected to us. Your family. <laughs> and you peed on me. Yep. In Spanish, there's a saying. That says, <laughs> la sangre llama, which basically means blood cold. So <laughs> I have been seen a lot of operas in movies. I don't even know. And I don't believe that's true. But that if someone is your family member, you will recognize him. You will feel like a connection. Which I call bullshit. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> your hat is pretty funny. <laughs> Hill Valley. Oh, they're constructing the, that building with the clock. Yeah! Oh, that's poop. <laughs> that's just me every time I go to my mother's hometown. <laughs> Your shoes. Ew, ew, drop them. I would prefer to, to walk barefoot than with poop. Take a look and see what just breezed in the door. Just breezed in the door. Didn't know the circus was in town. <laughs> Ew, don't be gross. I'll have uh, ice water. <laughs> ice water. <laughs> in here, we pour whiskey. But you don't have money to pay. What the heck? Hey, McFly! Oh, no. You want to change this, McFly? You kin to that, hey, Barber? What's your name, dude? He looks amazing with the makeup. Uh, yeah, he's... He's <laughs> Bip's relative from the past. And I guess his name is like... Something that rhymes with Bip. <laughs> because in the future was Griff. No, yeah. His, his grandson was Griff. He is Biff, and I guess this is due to this leaf or something. <laughs> I didn't recognize him in the picture, lol. You're mad, Dog Tannen. Ah, oh, Magda, you're wrong with the, with, the, with, the, with the tradition. I thought it was gonna rhyme with Biff. Nobody calls me Mad Dog. 
Especially not some dooted up egg sucking gutter trash. Ostia! Come on, run! You can dance better than that! <laughs> he sends it like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Is that the moonwalk? <laughs> Yeah. Round mercy. Run! Whoa! Wow! How did you jump into that course? That is talent, people. Look! What? That is awesome! They really know how to ride a horse. Ah, cabrón! Ouch! Oh, that looks painful. And then, okay. And dangerous, what? That is savage. What about the low? Where is the sheriff in that town? Ouch! I will be dead. <gasps> what? Why are you gonna kill him for? Aren't you overreacting a little bit? I mean, he just danced and it was an accident that you were like, what was that? Water? Poop? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. Man! That must be dog. Whoa! Yeah, it's dog! Wow! Point it straight in your head! You owe me money, blacksmith. You better be looking behind you when you walk. Because one day you're going to get a bullet in your back. In five days. To be precise, they are really good riding horses. I do my best. I'm not that bad, but I'm not that good either. Marty, I gave you explicit instructions not to come here, but to go directly back to 1985. But it's good to see you, Marty. <laughs> Aww. Love them. What are you just in that outfit? You. You did. September 7th. That's this Monday. Now I wish I'd paid them off. <laughs> and who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. What? Wait a second. Why are you saying the letter that you fell in love? I'm not crazy. I remember that. Do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when you came in? Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. Ah! <laughs> now we know who Clara is. So you just met her for four days. Oh. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. <laughs> Don't worry, Marty, she'll be fine. We're back in 1985. You just have to go over the house and wake her up. I guess Miss Clayton will have to find other transportation. I never meet the woman, there's no possibility of a romantic infatuation, right? Oh, listen, Doc, I tore a hole in the gas tank when I was landing, so we're going to have to patch it up and get some gas. You mean we're out of gas? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's no big deal. We got Mr. Fusion, right? But you're in the in the, the old west. I don't think there's gas there. Is it? No. There's not gonna be a gas station around here until sometime in the next century. And about gasoline, we can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. Oh shit. Yeah. So that is pretty iconic, but he's right. A horse can run that that, that, that many miles. Oh, I, mm, I know at some point in this movie, there's going to be a train. And, and I guess they're going to use the train to go back to the future. The, the question is, I believe Martin is the only one who's going to travel to the future. Doug is gonna stay there because he's gonna fall in love with Clara. Be careful, you could damage the car. Now it's even more broken. If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour. With the train. 
Oh my god, that contaminates a lot. That's it. And I'm talking about hotter than the places of hell. This spur that runs off the main line three miles out of Clayton Ravine. This is where we'll push the DeLorean with the locomotive. Locomotive? There is no bridge. Well, Doc, we can scratch that idea. The bridge will exist in 1985. It's safe and still in use. Therefore, as long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine, we'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge is completed. Okay, so either you you travel to the future or you die. <laughs> okay. That's Clara. They were meant to meet. Martin and Doc are really good riding horses too. What? I know they use doubles, but uh, <laughs> in the fiction it's, it's quite <laughs> curious that Martin knows how to ride a freaking horse. Has he tried it? <laughs> okay. Wow. I guess those are all her things. Thank you, sir. You saved me. Life. <laughs> Love at first sight. Emmy Brown at your service. Clara Clayton. Clara, what a beautiful name. <laughs> I'm almost glad that snake spooked those horses, otherwise we might never have met. I suppose it was destiny. He's smitten. <laughs> We have to get going. <laughs> Toodaloo. Toodaloo? <laughs> Holy shit, hey, Doc. Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. They say she fell in there a hundred years ago. hundred years ago? Uh -huh. That's this year. Every kid in school knows that story because we all have teachers we like to see fall into the roof. She was supposed to go over in that wagon. Up. <gasps> now I may have seriously altered history. Wait, so she was supposed to die. Huh. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. Tomorrow night, Sunday, we'll load the DeLorean onto the tracks here on the spur. Train leaves the station at 8 Monday morning. Borrow the locomotive and use it. <laughs> Borrow. At which point we'll be instantaneously transported back to 1985 and coast safely across the completed bridge. Oh. Easy peasy rice and cheesy. Hello? Clara. Okay, I have the solution. If Clara was supposed to be dead, she can travel back to the future with you guys. And no one will even notice. It's Clara! Quick! Cover the Lorian! The telescope was damaged and since you mentioned an interest in science, I thought you might be able to repair it for me. If you, if you move it this way, the image turns fuzzy. See? But if, if you turn it the other way. <laughs> Very subtle. Very <laughs> They're so close. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll see you this evening at the festival, Emmett. Mr. Eastwood. Ma'am. It gives me great pleasure to dedicate this clock to the people of Hill County. May it stand for all time. Let the festivities begin. Too bad I didn't bring my camera. <laughs> Smile, Doc. What great music. Yeah, it's got a beat and you can dance to it. <laughs> exactly. You're looking for Clara. Ah, she's there. And she's looking for him too. That is so cute. <laughs> I could. Would you like uh, to dance? To dance to, to uh, I love to. I can dance. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, I 
just told you that even a baby can handle this weapon. Surely you're not afraid to try something that a baby could do. Yeah, I'm not afraid of nothing. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, just step up here. Oh, like just like when 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 Biff constantly told him, "Are you a chicken?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now they change it to a baby, and he's gonna do it because, of course, he is. Oh, what? Oh, you're so good at it. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Where'd you learn to shoot like this? 7-Eleven. Okay, are you telling me that you learn on the streets? Okay. <laughs> I thought the supermarket. To be continued.